There's so much we can draw from nature into our planes and it's really exciting activity to kind of adapt what we see out there in the real world and put them into our paper planes. You can look at birds and insects and, and kind of millions of years of evolution to find some really interesting features uh, in animals and, and different, different kinds of flying things to adapt and put into your paper planes. Ornithopters that have opposing wings either side like dragonflies, there's um, seeds that disperse and pollen spores that roll through the air, there's hydrodynamics, so things that fly through the ocean fish and whales, tubicles on the leading petrol fins. There's so many fascinating aspects to hydro and aerodynamics that you can explore in your planes. I think my favourite one has got to be James's plane, the Squarosaurus. Now that plane is designed to have a winglet on the edge of each wing and it's kind of a little bit like the feather on the end of an eagle's wing. What it actually does is it helps to avoid what we call a wingtip vortex. All the high pressure air underneath the wing, we see it pushing up against the wing which helps to create lift tries to actually sneak around the edge of a wing. It sort of creates a little bit of a vortex. Some of that air pushes down on the top of the wing and creates a bit of a problem. And so what we use is that winglet, which is kind of like the feather on the bird on the edge of our plane. You can see some around here to sort of make a fence to create a barrier against that air. And so what that does for us is it helps to keep our planes up for longer. It also helps to keep our planes sort of functioning better in terms of lift and it, and it also makes them look, look really cool. Well, I, I'm pretty excited. I want to get to folding. Can we go do some Squarosaurus? To the Squarosaurus! <laughs> this is my favourite plane. It's the Squarosaurus. It's the plane I took to the World Paper Plane Championships. It's a glider, so the idea is to get it up in the air really high and let it float down to the ground slowly. The feature I want to point out with these folds is this winglet, this barrier. A wing that's really important for maintaining the efficiency of the flight and the glide ratio. It stops the high pressure air leaking around and pushing down on the wing. This winglet is a barrier, it stops that air cycling around, creating what's called a wing tip vortex. Let's get into folding it now so you can learn how to fold and fly this plane and experiment with how you want to throw it. So let's get stuck into this Squarosaurus. The first thing we want to do is to fold the top down. But often I say to people, just wait, wait till I'm finished this one so that you can see the proportions. So what's important is that the top rectangle is ever so slightly larger than the bottom rectangle. What you want to go for is something like nine and a half centimeters. So then what we're going to do is going to take that folded edge and we're going to take that down to within two millimeters of that previous fold. Then what we're going to do is do the same thing again. Take that folded edge and fold down to within one millimetre of that second fold. Each time we're going to make the crease nice and crisp. The next point is to fold it in half, making sure those folds are visible on the outside. All right, so next we're going to take this fold here, the folded edge, and we're gonna to have to make sure it faces our belly button. With our free hand, you wanna take one of the wings and fold it over your fingers, making sure that the angle of attack tapers up higher at the back. So I'm gonna mark that on so it's really obvious to you how that angle of attack runs. See how it's higher at the back and lower at the front? It's really important. All right, so once we've folded one wing down, we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna to match to the other side. That helps us keep things symmetrical and even, so that force of drag affects both wings equally. So once we've got our two wings, now's this important step, the wing tip vortex. We're gonna put one winglet on this side and the same on the other side, and that's gonna form that barrier to stop that wing tip vortex cycling around and pushing down on the wing. Usually I like to make this about one centimetre 
making sure it runs parallel with the center fuselage. So try and make them match on both sides as best you can. Once you've done that, unfurl them so that they're sitting at 90 degrees to the wing and make sure you lift your wing, wings up to create that dihedral angle, really important. So that's the Squarosaurus, a powerful time aloft glider. Let's take it to the floor and throw it as high as we can. <laughs>